thank you for your speedy speech. This was, this was a conference of 35 minutes made in 15 minutes. Just cutting the, 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 the pause between one work and one and the other. Congratulations. <laughs> okay. Uh, now uh, I would like to, to invite uh, Cristiano Lebratti on stage. Uh, Cristiano Lebratti is a um, member of UIA and responsible for the um, uh, work program uh, for a work program about sustainability and uh, he is also uh, an architect and a teacher in Darmstadt in Germany. Uh, I asked him to speak about architecture for a sustainable future uh, with the name of his work program, of, of the work program led by, by him, and uh, trying to open uh, uh, zoom up the vision from Brazil to to worldwide, and uh, trying to understand uh, if there are some possible strategies to intervene to to this urban uh, uh, situation. Uh, in different parts of, of the world. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Thank you for the introduction. Well, I am responsible for Christian Lebranti. I'm responsible for a um, work program, Architecture for a Sustainable Future, of the UIA. Well, for the Region 1, West Europe, because the UIA is organized in five regions. Uh, the region one is Western Europe, Eastern Europe is the region two and Middle East, the Americas, region three, Asia and Oceania, region four and region five is Africa. Well, region one represents eight countries. This one, well, Germany, Andorra, Austria, Belgium, Spain, France and so on. Who we are? Yeah, thanks. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I am the Oxford. Oh, thank you. Well, the active members of my work program are Georges Billou, Blake Van Annet, Bert Blair. Okay. Well, it's an honor member. <laughs> Elculi Sebastian, Massimiliano Giberti, Thomas Haas, and Salime Guendalina. Well, and we have 193 members of um, Facebook. Just an overview. Well, the next one, please, the next one, the next one, okay. And this is our presence on the internet, page of, of our program, Architecture for a Responsible Future, and our objectives. Well, which goals, the next one, which goals we have? Well, as a program. Strategies for the climate change mitigation. The first one is the internationalization and sensibilization for the topics of climate optimized design. And the second one is to reconcile technology and building culture to think of efficiency, performances and design as a whole. The eight principles of climate optimized design are for us first one is resource efficiency second one the next yeah the third one renaturalization and revitalization strategies renewable energy and materials vernacular architecture multifunctionality and flexibility, public urban spaces and accessibility, low cost and affordable housing. Next one? Okay, thanks. 
how to achieve these goals actions well we take part in cops cops are the conference of the parties international climate change summit of the UN they are events to gain a wide public to sensibilize media and society and to explain the role of architects in relation to mitigation and climate change the focuses are energy consumption and reduction of well carbon footprinting well we are responsible for the knowledge transfer and we do this through symposia workshops exhibitions competitions videos and interviews for example at the cup 15 in copenhagen 2009 we organized symposia with the students and young architects at the royal academy in uh, copenhagen workshops workshops and competition and award ceremony as well we have produced 30 films and seven interviews during the the workshop in Copenhagen about the topics of sustainability well the guy in the middle is Jan Gehl it's a manager city manager from Copenhagen and what has been achieved well, the eight points have been adopted by the sustainable design strategy of the UIA and we have, uh, we have um, an online library a sort of database of best practice project and videos open as an open source for architects the web address well please note down this is the address of our and this is the first page of our internet site second one and you can find a lot of interesting projects best practices with a lot of information and we organize um, also an exposition by sustainable by design by the UIA World Congress in Tokyo with Elias Katan, where are you? Hi, hi. In the middle. And the guy in the middle is um, an architect from China, Wang Shu. He is the last winner of the Pritzker Prize. He held the conference too in our pavilion at the Tokyo conference uh, well just a family photo of our group and what is to be improved well I, I mean the, the main question is how could architects designer and engineers influence the situation effectively because we are only responsible for two percent of all buildings but buildings are responsible for 40% of all emissions. Well, our strategy, our vision is to focus on topics which can have a wider audience and a bigger effect to make our um, something like a massive attack with topics like mega cities. Well, in two, 20, 30, 2 billion. I have five minutes, okay. Oh. Two billions of people will live in soil cities which have to be infrastructure. And what this is the reason why the next appointment site region one will the project in Durban. The next Congress, UAA, UAA World Congress will be in Durban. And we are working about the Durban project called Durbanization. Well, this is a picture of um, London during the urbanization two centuries ago. 
and this is the name of our project, urbanization. Well, we may densify the city and reuse it. The background of our project in numbers is, uh, well, demography. 2010, 50% of the people in the world live in cities. 20, 30, 2 billions new city residents. 60% of the world's population will live in cities. Each week, one billion, one million, sorry, newborn and immigrants will be added to the world urban population. While in Akka slums, shanty towns, favelas, barrios, etc. And about climate change, cities are the main cause of climate change. Worldwide, more than 80% of economic activities are carried out in urban areas. They are responsible for nearly 90% of the green gas emissions. This is a graphic about the growth, the population distribution in Africa. The slum population in urban Africa and the urban growth rate in Africa. Well, you can see Abuja in Nigeria. If we continue with business as usual, every second city dweller will live in the slums in 2050. We will have water shortage, social conflicts, waste everywhere, and an absolutely unsustainable increase of emissions. Four questions as um, highlights of our project. The first one, what are the limits of a functioning city? How can we prevent cities to become monsters, suffocating their own waste and their own exhaust fumes? How can we supply several million people in the same place with water and energy? Well, well I mean it, okay. How can we manage the urban? First one, what can we do? Strategies, failure to control the urbanization of the 20th century. Sprawl, sorry, I have to, to do it in one minute. Sprawl, downtown and urban sprawl. The next, well, but sprawl produce land use, strengthening of private mobility, more asphalt, more emission, complex and expensive supply. Can I have just two minutes more? Three minutes, three minutes. Okay, thank you. And the second strategy was the strategy of new towns. Ville Nouvelle or Trabantenstädte, this one. But they produce social segregation and commuting. Subject of our study is the alternative strategy of densification. It's this one. The goals are social mix, recycling, reuse as much as possible also of the city, energy saving, reducing the private mobility, rethinking the public space. The keywords will be densification, refurbishment, reuse and retrofitting. How? We want to discuss about urbanization in Durban. Well, with a, an exhibition project, Durban Street, the concept of the exhibition will be a project exhibition. Uh, we will organize events and the competition invite architects and university to transform individual objects along the road. Well, about the concept. The exhibition concept of the glorious Strada Novissima, 1980 at the Biennale in Venice became a metaphor in which idea and form of architecture retreat into the background while the facade comes to manifesto. We will work with the opposite strategy, the facade disappearing, go in death, consider the existing object from the inside. We need and we will have a traffic street near Colm Street near the convention center with open spaces for installation and performances, spaces for events, lectures, concert parties, building as meeting point with a bar, an existing row of building to retrofit and to refurbish. Okay? Well, just three pictures about the next one, about Durban and the inspiration for our project, Durbanization. 
that's all. Thank you for your attention. Sorry, I was a little bit slow. Thank you. So, <clears throat> next next meeting will be in, in Durban, 2014. Uh, uh, the problem is not is not easy to solve. It, it, it is even not easy to uh, to present. I mean, the problem is uh, so complex that <coughs> we we we. I mean, it is, it is difficult to 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 clarify all the topics uh, who are uh, responsible to 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 define this problem, this whole problem. And I I, I thank you, Cristiano, because. In in few minutes, it, 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 it show that uh, there are some words uh, we have to deal with. Uh, the first one I, I remember I noticed is the size of the city. Is there a right size for for, for the cities of tomorrow? Uh, maybe we can we can accept that a bigger city or, or mega city. Are not uh, are, are not easy to control. We can't control in all, in, all, in all of his parts a big city. So maybe we can we can think about this. And the second one is uh, how people use the city. Uh, Caldana, uh, Walter Caldana, just before said that uh, a city. Uh, one of the of of the main uh, characteristic of a city is that a city uh, is something. Which is which have been planned. I mean, someone drawn the the, the, the shape, the design, and the and the form of, of a city. Uh, but when we we design we design a city, then there are people. There's there's a lot of people who use the city. So there's a lot of people who interpret your design, the design of an urbanist. And the way in which people use the city, use this design, is, I mean, the one of the of the topic we have to deal with. Uh, because the problem of the use of what is already existing within our urban structure is one of the main uh, the, the, the main uh, tools we have to use to transform cities. Because we can't think to uh, enlarge cities, we can't think to destroy and reconstruct, but we have to think to how use what already exists. This is one of the the the, the, the main topics. Who, who were presented by, uh, by, by also by Cristiano, I think it, they are uh, crucial in uh, in dealing with this this kind of problem. Uh, so uh, go back to go back to Rio, go back to to, to Brazil. Uh, I would like to invite uh, here uh, Flavio Teixeira and uh, Marco Casamonti, because uh, Flavio Teixeira is from uh, the. Uh, he, he works for for the for the municipality of Rio, for the um, uh, prefectura uh, of Rio. He is responsible for uh, a, a really interesting project 